Deshaun Watson is expected to be a member of the Cleveland Browns. When this trade is completed, Watson is expected to get a five-year, $230 million contract that is fully guaranteed. That is $80 million more than the previous record for fully guaranteed money at signing. My job is to check on y'all. Not just football fans, but fans of human women. With the news that Deshaun Watson was traded from the Houston Texans to the Cleveland Browns, are y'all all right? Are your muscles tense? You should be tight in your neck and shoulders. I'm not even a Browns fan and I got a knot in my stomach. I don't feel too good with the fact that even though Deshaun Watson will not face criminal charges for sexual misconduct after a grand jury rejected all nine criminal cases, it's like the NFL can only see what's going on through that cutout and massage tables. After all, none of this information means he is or isn't actually guilty of the graphic accounts that range from Watson refusing to cover his genitals to forcing women to put his penis in their mouths. Just that the evidence may have been weak. I'll leave legal stuff to Adrian. Last year, Watson's attorney said in a news release, the following 18 women are voluntarily issuing statements in support of Deshaun, with their names attached, adding that the women have collectively worked with Deshaun more than 130 times over the past five years. You mean to tell me that Deshaun having received massages from at least 40 women is okay? Even when you consider that his former team, the Texans, has a team masseuse? Who vouches for him, by the way? Watson's lawyers have said there was some sexual activity during some of the massage appointments, but that he never coerced anyone. Last year, he was advised to invoke the Fifth Amendment. Meanwhile, the Browns, along with the Falcons, Texans, Panthers, and Saints, evidently were all watching and waiting. But they know how players conduct themselves, and they know how to run an NFL organization. Each team offers these services. Does Watson rotating this many massages using this many masseuses not bother anybody else? Brown's ownership released a statement saying, we have done extensive investigative, legal, and reference work over the past several months to provide us with the appropriate information needed to make an informed decision about pursuing him and moving forward with him as our quarterback. Furthermore, it was pivotal that we, along with general manager Andrew Barry and coach Kevin Stefanski, meet with Deshaun and have a straightforward dialogue. Although Watson will not face criminal charges, there are still 22 active civil lawsuits that allege sexual harassment and assault which Watson denies. Watson can still get suspended by the NFL pending their investigation. According to Ian Rappaport, Watson's base salary for 2022 is $1 million, which means if he's suspended, it'll come out of that base. So he would lose less than $60,000 per game. Deshaun Watson is undoubtedly a great quarterback, and I would imagine that he needs to do a lot in order to stay at the top of his game. And this isn't an indictment on his skills, although I'm also not going to lavish him with praise. But with the bad PR and turning your back on your fans, women in particular, is he worth it? For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. If you want to see content from yours truly, click on the hashtag below. I can also be found on all socials at he gonna be all right. Thanks for watching.